Alright, so this video kind of starts in an odd place, and that's because this footage is from like 8 months ago, and I never got around to finishing the video, and I never really planned it that well to begin with. But this is the cowbell that I bought from Harbor Freight, or Horrible Freight, or Harbor Freight, whatever you want to call it, but it only costs $4, so I have a video kind of like reviewing it, how it is in its, you know, stock state, I guess you could say, but my plan all along was to modify it, so that's what I'm going to do. So I started by taking the paint off and it was like the thickest layer of paint and honestly I thought the sheet metal was like textured but it's actually the paint that's textured so that's a good thing. And then I cut off the little handle on it. Then also if you watched the original review video you'll remember that there's a little clacker thing on the inside so here I'm just taking off the mount for that. So now fast forward 8 months and I'm cutting the cowbell in half. So one of the main things I want to do with this cowbell is reshape it and right now the opening, the slope of the, the curves are pretty gradual so instead I want them to be steeper so I clamped it in the vise and then I bent them till they're steeper. And here you can really see what I mean. And then I did the same thing on the other half. And then another thing I want to do is reduce the size of the mouth. So before it was like, I don't know, like three inches, but now it's going to be a little less than two. And then just to help me cut a straight line, I'm using tape as a guide. So part of the reason why it's taking me so long to actually do this is the fact that I didn't really know what I wanted to do with the cowbell. I knew I wanted to cut it and, you know, reshape it, but so many people requested that I hand hammer this thing. And when it comes to, you know, like tonal hammering, I know absolutely nothing. All the hammering you've seen me do so far in this video is basically just to get the shape. But since this cowbell only costs $4, I figured, you know, there's nothing to lose, so I might as well try it. So I'm kind of just hammering the crap out of it. <laughs> so we'll see how it sounds. And then it's also worth mentioning that my anvil is just a dumbbell. I flattened one side of it and then I, I cut the other side off and I drilled a hole in this log so I can take it in and out and also it'll be stable. But uh, it's cast iron so it's like way too soft to be an actual anvil. But for what I'm doing, it works fine. And then I clamped the two sides together and gave it a few tacks. And now also my welder is like frazzled. I have no idea what's wrong with it. I thought it was the wire feed mechanism because it's all skippy like this. But whenever I pull the trigger like in the air without actually welding, then it's fine. So it's probably the ground, probably like a loose connection or something. So I'll fix that eventually or let's buy a new welder because this thing is a piece of crap. Or if you want to send me one, my address is... No, I'm kidding. But seriously, send me a welder. Then you also saw me do a little bit of hammering just to get the shape just right, just from the uh, the heat distortion. So that's what that was, and then I finished welding that side. And then some more shaping. And then basically I repeated those steps to fully weld it. I would weld a little bit and then close any seams that, you know, opened up and then weld it again. And if there's any more seams, I would close them until it's fully welded. So I ground down the welds and got the whole thing nice and smooth and honestly, this thing doesn't sound too good. So if you hit it with the ridge of the stick, like so, it sounds pretty dead, so let me show you.
not too good. But if you hit it with the tip of the stick, like this, it actually sounds kind of good. So now I just need to figure out how to mount this thing. This area isn't too big, so I can't really make the uh, like a regular mount like I've done in the past. But uh, I'll try to think of something. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks. I basically lost motivation in finishing this thing, but I bent up this little bracket and you can see the lip on the back of it. And that's so I can attach it to both sides of the cowbell and it'll be that much more stronger. And then of course, you gotta weld it on. And that's it, so let's see how it sounds. So if you've ever wanted to own an ugly looking, ugly sounding, poorly welded cowbell, you can own this very one for the low, low price of 13 easy payments of $2.31, plus shipping and handling. But no, seriously, I don't really have a use for this thing, I have plenty of other cowbells, and I'm sure someone out there actually likes the sound of it, so it's better off going to them than me keeping it and not using it at all. So if you want to buy this, there's a link below, and I'll be sure to throw in a sticker also. Uh, but basically, any money I get from this will just go back into my channel and will allow me to do more projects. So by buying this, you're supporting my channel. So uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.